Reverend Insanity. Chapter 301. Fang Yuan vs. Zhu Ba Tu. Looking at the number 8 expert in 4th inner city senior Zhu Ba, beaten till he vomited blood by a newcomer, this scene overturned many people's expectations. But Zhu Ba was still an experienced veteran, he suddenly shouted, stretching out both arms and tightly hugged Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan felt that he was wrapped by cotton. The fat meat squeezed at him from all directions, causing him to be unable to move. He punched and kicked, hitting flesh with every hit. Zhu Ba's bones were broken, and his flesh was beaten to pulp, mashed under his skin. But Zhu Ba gritted his teeth, forcefully trapping Fang Yuan. He was almost beaten senseless by Fang Yuan, but the only clear thought on his mind reminded him, if he let this monster out, he would be in deep trouble. As the space around him was squeezed, Fang Yuan snorted, showing no fear as he activated the all-out effort goo. A green bull phantom appeared in midair. A new beast phantom. Bai Ningbing saw this and her pupils shrunk. Secretly, Fang Yuan had already grown this powerful. If I go against him, with just my goo worms I'm afraid, Bai Ningbing's heart sank. The bull strength was strong and lasting. Fang Yuan stretched out his arms and pulled Zhu Ba's fat arms that were tightly coiled around him. Comparing strength, how could Zhu Ba be his match? Zhu Ba tried his best, his arms were shivering, and sweat poured down like rain, but he could not stop Fang Yuan. Damn, damn it, if he gets loose, I am done for. Zhu Ba felt an intense feeling of unease, the intense premonition of death was causing him to feel extremely scared. I, I admit defeat, he screamed. Compared to his life, what was fame? The hosting Gu Master immediately used the battle stage to forcefully separate the two. The battle has been decided, Fang Zheng wins, Zhu Ba loses, the hosting Gu Master announced. The crowd gasped. He actually won. Zhu Ba is just a paper tiger, pretending to be strong on the outside, I was almost fooled by him. Zhu Ba can't even beat a newcomer, how can he be the number 8 expert? This is truly shameful for our fourth inner city battle stage. Zhu Ba's pathetic state now destroyed the image he had painstakingly built up over the years. Bai Ningbing heard the chattering and shook her head internally. Zhu Ba has been an expert for many years, he is definitely strong, unfortunately he met Fang Yuan. Zhu Ba's fighting style was countering his opponent's attacks. First using defense to waste his opponent's primeval essence and stamina, then counterattacking to win. But he fought against Fang Yuan, this monster, as a strength cultivator, coupled with the heavenly essence treasure lotus, he has endless primeval essence. Stamina is also his forte as a strength cultivator. The two countered each other in different aspects, but the tougher one won. Speaking of which, it was rather ironic. Bai Ningbing changed her style, becoming more scheming and devious. Fang Yuan was also changing from his former scheming style. He started fighting with raw power, a forthright style that goes all in. The two seemed to have swapped styles. Zhu Ba fell and admitted defeat, Losing to Fang Yuan, his reputation was completely tarnished. Good job. Below the stage, Wai Yang laughed as he said to Fang Yuan. This was Fang Yuan's first battle in Fourth Inner City, thus Wai Yang came to watch. Fang Yuan's performance was out of Wai Yang's expectations. Wai Yang was very concerned about Fang Yuan, one because of the clan leader's orders and mission, but also because of their friendship. Maybe you were born for the strength path. At the banquet, Wai Yang exclaimed. He patted Fang Yuan's shoulders. I walked on the strength path in the past, but failed. Now I see hope in you, do you know? Many eyes are watching you now. Continue walking on this path without doubt. Fang Yuan nodded. He knew his circumstance. He had just risen to fourth inner city and met Zhu Ba, defeating him. Getting famous overnight, many were taken aback. This battle had just ended, but he had received many people's forceful challenge. These people were mostly strength path goo masters, coming after his all-out effort goo. The better he performs, the greater the value of the all-out effort goo, and the more greed it attracts. Right now, those that were coming for him were all experts in fourth inner city. 
Henceforth, his predicament would only get tougher. But the tougher it got, the more his battle intent surged as Fang Yuan felt his blood burning. Just this level of risk and difficulty, what are they? How can they stop me, Fang Yuan's advancement? In this world, nobody is capable of ending my ambitions. Eight days later, he fought Jin Bian Yuan. After fighting evenly for a while, he unleashed his beast phantoms, destroying Jin Bian Yuan's core defensive Gu Worm, killing him on the spot. Ten days later, Liao Hua Dong, who is famed for aggressive attacks, fought against Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan fought attack with more attacks, taking him down head on. If not for the hosting Gu Master, Liao Hua Dong would have been dead. Seventeen days later, Zhang De, who has the strength of five tigers, fought an exciting match against Fang Yuan, but was beaten like a dead dog, lying on the ground motionlessly. Time continued to pass by, as Fang Yuan won again and again. There were many experts in Fourth Inner City, but Fang Yuan's growth was insane. Be it cultivation, addition of new goo worms, or other these aspects. The more he won, the more primeval stones he received. He fought his way through, advancing bravely, every match was a treat to watch for the spectators. But on the other hand, he was very vigilant. He had never looked down on any opponent, getting all the information he needed beforehand. With Wai Yang and Lai Ran, one having authority while the other one has an underground network, Fang Yuan could gather all the information necessary before a battle. He was not a brainless brute, he only accepted four matches a month. Although forceful challenge was a rule to prevent intentional targeting, the challenged Gu Master can have eight days of rest time after every match. Fang Yuan used this time to prepare himself adequately, ignoring the taunting from others. He focused on cultivating, the battle stage's purpose was to assess and train himself, as well as a source of revenue. He had become famous. His victories caused his name to spread wide. The strongest newcomer in history, the star of hope in reviving strength path, the ferocious and ruthless beast, many titles were bestowed onto him, depicting his traits. Newcomer but has an amazing win record, owns the all-out effort goo, ruthless and cruel, never letting go of an enemy he can kill and others. Three months passed like this, this day in the secret room. Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing sat opposite each other. Bai Ningbing placed both palms on Fang Yuan's back, injecting her snow-silver primeval essence into him. The primeval essence were converted over by the flesh-bone unity Gu. After some losses, they were injected into Fang Yuan's aperture. In the aperture, primeval essence ebbed and flowed as waves crashed and assaulted the aperture walls. Swish, swish, swish. The tides rose and fell, never ending. The white light walls were assaulted and started to change. A moment later, the light walls were replaced by water walls as the white light flowed like water, causing the aperture walls to become thicker and stronger. From rank 3 initial stage, he advanced to middle stage. Fang Yuan only used a few months. This was all due to the flesh bone unity Gu and Bai Ning Bing. The higher the Gu Master's rank, the larger the difference between their cultivation across small realms. Bai Ningbing was rank 3 peak stage, it was very helpful to Fang Yuan. This speed, if exposed, would cause a great commotion. Even Fang Yuan, who was knowledgeable, felt secretly shocked. But Bai Ningbing, who was a former 10 extreme physique and had a monstrous cultivation speed, did not feel any shock towards Fang Yuan's advancement. If Bai Ningbing was rank 4, using the light gold primeval essence, Fang Yuan's cultivation speed would be increased further. Feeling the change in Fang Yuan's aura, Bai Ningbing knew he had succeeded and retracted her palm. So how, in a few days, you will reach fourth inner city battle stage? Are you interested in raising your cultivation to rank 4? Fang Yuan turned around and asked, the higher Bai Ning Bing's cultivation was, the faster he could cultivate himself. No need, if you can stand firm with rank 3 cultivation and fight your way through, so can I. Bai Ning Bing snorted coldly, not showing any nice expressions Fang Yuan. But at the end, she added, My aptitude rose again, reaching 92%.
at this rate, when are you going to give me the Yang Gu? Oh, that's fast. Fang Yuan was shocked. He knew a lot about the Ten Extreme Aptitude, but the details were not in depth. Even though Poison Vow was removed, Binding Bing still served a huge purpose. You don't have to worry, with me around, I can protect your life. We used the Poison Vow Gu before, even if you don't trust me. Surely you trust the Gu's power. HMPH Binding Bing did not rebuke him. These last few months she spent with Fang Yuan were the most peaceful period of her life. As the two worked hard together, and with the Poison Vow Gu allowing them to form an alliance. But it seems... This guy, he's growing faster and gaining more rewards. Regarding this, Bai Ningbing had a clear understanding of their differences. Her improvement was large, but his was larger. These few months, Fang Yuan not only gained the strength of a turtle, but also used the rank 3 bronze skin goo, giving his skin another layer of defense. Rank 2 bronze skin goo can only give the goo master's skin increased defense for a limited period of time. The rank 3 bronze skin goo used one's own body and grants this defense to their body permanently. Now, Fang Yuan's skin is bronze color like he had undergone a sun tan. Iron bones, steel tendon, bronze skin, with golden shield goo, Fang Yuan's defense was at initial success stage, even among third inner city battle stage, it is sufficient to deal with any strong foe. As for the canopy goo, Fang Yuan had already sold it. It overlapped with the Golden Shield goo and did not suit Fang Yuan's fighting style. Just as Fang Yuan advanced to middle stage, a group of people arrived outside Shang Clan City. Shang Clan City, Gu Yu Fang Zheng is inside, huh? Tai Ryuo Nan thought as she walked ahead of everyone. Tai Dao Ku greets young master. Tai Dao Ku rapidly paid his respects. Chapter 302, Tai Ryuo Nan Tai Dao Ku, what happened to your eyes? Tai Ryuo Nan saw Tai Dao Ku wearing a black eye patch and asked in surprise. Tai Dao Ku showed an embarrassed expression, speaking the truth. My eyes were injured by Bai Ning Bing. A few months ago, he had a battle with Bai Ning Bing and suffered a great setback. Losing his left eye, his battle strength fell drastically, and with the hand blade Gu mercilessly taken by Bai Ning Bing, he was no longer her match. But Tai Dao Ku did not give up. He had a determined heart, gritting his teeth and relied on the battle stage, along with taking some jobs of escorting and investigating to survive in Shang Clan City. He was like a lone wolf licking his wounds as he observed Fang and Bai secretly, slowly gaining back his strength as well as reporting to the clan. Precisely because of his letter, Tai Ryuo Nan brought a team here personally. Bai Ning Bing actually injured you. Tai Dao Ku, your intel had some errors, why did you not mention this in your letter? Tai Ruo Nan frowned, slightly unhappy. How could I have the face to say it? Tai Dao Ku laughed bitterly, he was a rank 3 Gu master, he had his pride and dignity. But towards Tai Ruo Nan's accusation, he lowered his head, answering, it was my mistake. He was a proud man, but he was very respectful to Tai Ruo Nan. It has been two years. Two years ago, Tai Zhu Leng's death was reported to the clan, causing them to fall into deep sorrow. A rank 5 Gu master was a great strength, Standing at the peak of the mortal realm, even a huge clan like Tai Clan would feel pain in losing one. Moreover, this was the divine investigator Tai Zhu Leng. His name spread throughout the southern border, he was a symbol and a flag for Tai Clan. Tai Zhu Leng's death was a loss to Tai Clan, but also a loss to the entire righteous faction. Just as the clan grieved Tai Ruo Nan as Tai Zhu Leng's daughter stood up. She had been following her father, roaming the southern border. After returning to the clan, she challenged the Tai clan 13 halls, defeating her foes in the arena battles and becoming one of the eight young masters in Tai clan. After taking over Tai clan's internal affairs, she cracked many cases, corruption and greed could not hide from her, as she brought the criminals to justice. 
Tai Zhu Leng fell, but Tai Ruo Nan rose, taking over her father's duty, and became the new rising star for the last two years in Tai Clan. Tai Ruo Nan's name started to travel wide, and even Tai Dao Ku, someone who was far away in Shang Clan City, heard about her stories. Tai Clan and Shang Clan had different policies, even if Tai Ruo Nan fails to attain the position of Tai Clan leader, she will still be an important member, a great general protecting the mountain. She was young, but already rank three upper stage. Her title of genius was true to its name. Be it Tai Ruo Nan's current or future achievements, it was worth Tai Dao Ku's respect. Tai Mu, go see to his injuries. Tai Ruo Nan waved her hand, saying, Tai Mu had a delicate face, he was the healing goo master in the team. He quickly went forward and checked Tai Dao Ku's eyes in front of everyone. In just a few breaths, Tai Mu reported, His eye is crippled, there is nothing I can do. To heal it, a rank 5 goo master is needed. He was being humble, merely 28 years old, but already rank 3 peak stage, he was a clan elite from Tai Clan's side branch. Many people tried to recruit him, but he decided to serve Tai Ruo Nan instead. These few years, Tai Ruo Nan had taken the role of young master, and her forces expanded, recruiting many talented elites into her faction, Tai Mu was only one of them. In Shang Clan City, there is a rank 5 expert named Dr. Su Shu. Tai Dao Ku, take this money and go heal your eyes. Tai Ruo Nan took out a primeval elder goo and threw it to Tai Dao Ku. Thank you, young master. Tai Dao Ku took the goo and showed a grateful expression. Dr. Su Shu's treatment fee was extremely expensive. He had scrimped and saved these few years to save up enough money to heal his eyes. But a hundred thousand primeval stones was not a small sum. Commodity prices in Shang Clan City is high, and Tai Dao Ku had to buy a hand blade goo, he had no opportunity to save enough money. He straightened his back. I have already reserved a garden estate for young master to stay in, please follow me. But Tai Ruo Nan waved her hand. No rush. Bring me to Nan Kyu Garden in your report. You mentioned that Fang and Bai stayed at Nan Kyu Garden, right? Erm, um, yes, that is so. Tai Dao Ku was stunned, not expecting Tai Ruo Nan to be so direct. Lead the way, Tai Ruo Nan instructed. Yes. Tai Ruo Nan had a swift and decisive nature, but a moment later, she was denied entry. Sorry, my two masters are cultivating in their secret rooms. Nan Kyu Garden's doorboy respectfully said. What, scared? Trying to hide inside, Tai Dao Ku snorted in disdain. The doorboy had been specially trained by Shang Clan, he had great qualities, after giving Tai Dao Ku a look, he remaining guarding the door firmly, not letting them through. Tai Ruo Nan was one of the young masters of the great Tai clan, she would not make a fuss towards a child. She smiled, taking out an invitation, passing it to the doorboy. No worry, pass them my invitation letter. I have some relationship with your masters, we will come again at night. I will definitely convey Lord's message, but they are in closed cultivation, I cannot guarantee when they will come out. They might not come out by dinner time. The doorboy reminded before they left. Until dinner time, when Tai Clan came again, they were rejected once more. I think this Fang and Bai are afraid of young master's grandeur, hiding inside afraid to show up. Maybe they are trying to display their authority, specially targeting us. Tai Clan gang guessed, speaking in indignance. They had visited twice, but were treated like this. Did they really think so highly of themselves? Even Shang Clan young master would need to leave his work and come to attend to the group. Do not be anxious, we will come again tomorrow morning. Tai Ruo Nan calmed the gang, handing out another invitation as she showed an expression deep in thought. On the second morning, Nan Kyu Garden closed shut again. Tai Clan gang's emotions were surging, almost breaking through by force, but were halted by Tai Ruo Nan, who handed out another invitation. The group had just left, and Fang Yuan came out of his secret room. Tai Ruo Nan, 
Hearing the servant's report, Fang Yuan gave a weird look. He knew that this woman was Tai Zhu Lang's daughter, didn't she die on King Mao Mountain? Tai Zhu Lang flew out of the bronze mask of the mountain giant puppet Gu, using the steel hand Gu to save Tai Ryo Nan. Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing were engaging in a fierce fight at that moment, his vision obstructed by the white form Immortal Snake, thus he did not see it. After the fog dispersed, he was attacked by the crane group, the scene was a mess, and he did not have a second to rest. Even until Bai Ning Bing self-detonated, Fang Yuan did not see Tai Ryo Nan. Thus, in Fang Yuan's impression, he had always thought that the Tai clan father and daughter had died on King Mao Mountain. To think this Tai Ryo Nan is still alive, not only that, she even became Tai clan young master. Fang Yuan held the three invitations, taking a look and frowning deeply. Seeing this name, he felt a strong killing intent oozing out of his heart. This person is too much of an eyesore. A survivor of King Mao Mountain had interacted with himself and Gu Yu Fang Zheng, a huge threat to himself. If his true identity was exposed, it would affect his current peaceful lifestyle, and the haven he had painstakingly crafted in Shang Clan City would be lost. But this Tai Ruo Nan, Fang Yuan could not do anything to her. Tai Clan young master in Shang Clan City, he was not permitted to kill her. I am still too weak, if I was rank 6 like back then, I could kill this small fry with one finger. Fang Yuan sighed in his heart. Although his battle strength surged and his growth was astounding, killing Tai Ruo Nan had consequences the current him could not bear. In fact, he could not even use his own name at this point. There is always a mountain higher than a mountain, an expert stronger than another expert. Rank 5 was only the mortal realm peak, yet he was merely rank 3. Fang Yuan quickly sorted his thoughts, eliminating her was the most direct method, but it could not be used, thus he had to think of a way to deal with this unwanted guest. The matter on King Mao Mountain was not exposed, seeing Tai Ryo Nan's action, she must not know anything. Otherwise, she would not come with just this group to arrest me. She sent out three invitations and purposely displayed her determination of wanting to meet me. It seems she wants to learn what happened back then from me. After all, her father died on King Mao Mountain. Then the matter now is, I am using Gu Yu Fang Zheng's name now, will she suspect my true identity? If she has suspicions, how do I get rid of her doubts? Or even worse, if my identity is exposed, how do I salvage it? From Shang Yan Fei's findings, I have an ordinary aptitude, only my brother is a great aptitude, how do I explain the change in my talent? Fang Yuan's brain rapidly worked. He was a sly schemer, having a vigilant nature, he always considered the worst outcome, and this huge crisis was no different. He quickly thought of a countermeasure. If I really get to that stage, I will sell the blood skull goo to Shang Yan Fei. He had been collecting the blood sea true inheritance, if I sell the blood skull goo to him, he would be able to raise Shang Xin Sai's aptitude. He dotes on her so much, using the man triumphing heaven goo for her to change her fate. He will not reject this deal. Handing over the blood skull goo would allow Fang Yuan to explain the reason why he concealed his identity. But unless the matter had progressed to the worst stage, Fang Yuan would definitely not sell the blood skull goo. The blood skull goo is a divine goo to raise geniuses for a clan. If I sell it to Shang Clan, Shang Clan's forces would expand rapidly. Although the Blood Skull Goo has no value to me anymore, it is another story for others. Fang Yuan did not know Fang Zheng was still alive now and was experiencing a rapid growth in strength. Chapter 303 I Really Want to Kill Her Fang Yuan could not help but think again. According to Tai Clan's reaction, Tai Ryo Nan probably has no idea the blood skull goo is in my hands. Maybe my agreed aptitude now is the greatest facade I have. Regarding this, Fang Yuan was spot on. The truth is, Tai Ryo Nan had never suspected Fang Yuan's identity. The reason was obviously aptitude. Tai Ryo Nan had always assumed that Fang Yuan was the desolate ancient moon physique. 
Regarding the weakness of the Ten Extreme Physique, she had learned much about it in Tai Clan. After such a long time had passed, if it was really Fang Yuan, he would have died long ago. Furthermore, from Tai Dao Ku's reports, Fang Yuan's fighting style of being brave and forthright was also a testament to his identity. In Tai Ruo Nan's mind, Fang Zheng was the one with such a style, as for that devious Fang Yuan, how could he fight with such ferocity? On Tai Ruo Nan's fourth visit, she finally met Fang Yuan. In the living room, only Fang Yuan and Tai Ruo Nan were present, the rest were sent away. To think that you and I would meet under such circumstances, Tai Ruo Nan exclaimed. Fang Yuan and Fang Zheng were twins, they looked almost identical, she exclaimed, but Fang Yuan was even more emotional, sighing deeply. The past is the past. Let it stay that way, I do not want to mention it again. Tai Ruo Nan's eyes shone sharply. No, some things cannot be forgotten. My visit this time is for the matter back then. You must know how my father died. Please tell me the truth. Fang Yuan looked at Tai Ruo Nan deeply. She showed no fear, staring right back at him. Her gaze showed a strong, determined spirit. Her eyes and eyebrows were sharper than before, as she did not roam around these few years, her slightly dark skin had turned pale, and together with her aquiline nose and red lips, it displayed the image of a heroic female general. No doubt, she was a beauty. Although no match for Bai Ningbing and Shang Xin Sai, her body had great shape, especially the long legs. Coupled with her unique disposition, it caused her to shine among people and lure the conquering desire of men. But Fang Yuan was not concerned with her appearance. From her gaze, Fang Yuan sensed that she had no doubt about his identity. This was good. Then next, the problem was how to explain the matter back then. Fang Yuan knew if he did not give a proper explanation, Tai Ruo Nan would not let go. Regarding this, Fang Yuan had his measures. Thus, he sighed. Every time I think about King Mao Maintain, my heart aches. You may have lost a father, but I lost a clan, every single one of my family, and was forced to roam in the wilds. Although Shang Clan City is good, it is after all a foreign land, there is no feeling of home. Saying so, his eyes turned red. Seeing Fang Yuan act like this, Tai Ruo Nan's tough as steel gaze softened. As people in similar circumstances, both of them were victims. But compared to her, Fang Zheng who had lost all his clansmen was no doubt more pitiful. Do you know? You killed a young master from my clan. If I had not stopped them, you would have been trialed by my clan already. Tai Ruo Nan changed the topic. Fang Yuan's expression changed, rapidly explaining, I know about the matter regarding Tai Dao Ku, it was not intentional. I dug the traps to deal with the grass skirt monkeys, who asked your Tai clan to tail after me and fall into my trap. They were asking for death, how can you blame me? A life for a life, it is perfectly justified, no? Tai Ruo Nan's expression turned solemn. Fang Yuan laughed coldly in his heart, if that is the case, how many lives would I need to repay them? His face showed a cold smile too. Tai Ruo Nan, after so many things had happened, we are no longer naive kids. Your Tai clan has no justification in this matter, the reason you did not act is because of the purple thorn token in my hand, is that not the case? Tai Ruo Nan replied honestly. The purple thorn token is the main reason. But it can only protect your safety in Shang Clan City. Once you leave, we will not let you go. If you can tell me the truth behind the matter back then, I can assure you, as long as I live, Tai Clan will not pursue you for this matter. Fang Yuan's heart was slightly shocked. This Tai Ruo Nan seemed to have developed well these few years. Even as a Tai Clan young master, not many had this level of authority. If you do not believe me, we can use the poison Vao Gu. Tai Ruo Nan continued. Poison Vao Gu again? To speak the truth, Fang Yuan was already getting sick of refining the eating one's words Gu. The truth is nothing much. Now that you are Tai Clan's young master, can you not guess it? Fang Yuan lowered his head, secretly observing Tai Ruo Nan. 
he used this to probe her, but Tai Ruonan did not seem to notice it. The young girl smiled. Actually, even if you do not say it, I have an idea already. Fang Yuan's tone changed. You know? Tai Ruonan sighed slowly. The Ten Extreme Physique is not a secret to the high-tier clans in the Gu Master world. Causing that scene and sealing the entire King Mao Mountain in ice, even a rank 5 Gu Master cannot do it. But what I did not expect is, your brother was not the desolate ancient moon physique, but the northern dark ice soul physique. What? Fang Yuan called out in his mind, but his expression remained the same, only squinting appropriately. Why did she think I am the desolate ancient moon physique? Fang Yuan felt weird at the absurdity of her claim. Wait, no wonder back then, the Gu Yu clan leader protected me for no reason. Don't tell me, they thought my cultivation speed was due to the Ten Extreme Physique. As he considered this, many things started to make sense. If she thinks so, then the Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique is my greatest cover. This means she had never doubted my real identity, as long as I do not show a flaw in my pretense later. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan's face showed a complicated and painful expression. He did not speak, only sighing. The more he speaks, the more loopholes he creates, words lead to mistakes. Tai Ruo Nan looked at his expression and affirmed her guess as her tone became softer. Fang Zheng, I know the pain in your heart is very complicated. The only who ruined your home, causing you to roam outside and murdered your entire clan, was your own brother Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan stopped her words, his eyes turning red. Stop speaking, since you know so clearly, why must you ask me now? But I need a clear answer, all these were my assumptions. Tai Ruo Nan gave a forceful gaze. Fang Yuan nodded, as tears fell silently. Tai Ruo Nan seeing this, could not force him further, only saying dejectedly. Do you know, I had rushed back to King Mao Mountain, seeing the snow that engulfed the mountain, my heart was a mess. I know my father was killed by Fang Yuan, if he was still around, the hatred of killing my father is greater than the heavens, I will definitely kill him for revenge. But he is already dead. So what if I am not content with the outcome? I want to be filial to my parents, but it is too late, I want to kill the murderer, but he is already dead. It is the greatest regret in life. Tai Ruo Nan sighed, not knowing that her mortal enemy was right in front of her. Fang Yuan snorted coldly, showing displeasure. Fang Yuan is after all my brother, he is already dead, what more do you want? Tai Ruo Nan's eyes shone, I want to know some things. Back then, my father had received a mysterious letter, I know what is written in it. It says that the Gu Yu village contained a blood sea inheritance, thus my father disregarded his injuries and rushed to King Mao Mountain immediately. Do you and Bai Ning Bing know about it? Fang Yuan shook his head. If I obtained it, I would have used it already. Why would I suffer so much on this journey? Tai Ruo Nan stared at Fang Yuan with deep meaning. The blood sea inheritance brings endless disasters. Back then, the demonic path Gu Master Blood Sea Ancestor left this vile inheritance behind. Getting to the root of the problem, my father's death was also due to this inheritance. Fang Zheng, if you really received this inheritance, I hope you can hand it over to me and let me compensate for some of my regrets. Fang Yuan shook his head, no means no. Tai Ruo Nan was solemn before speaking. According to my reports, you have a goo in your possession that gives off a strong blood aura, you used to use it as a long-range attack. But after you converted to a strength path cultivation, you no longer use it. Why is that? Fang Yuan was stunned before realizing. You are suspecting me of taking the blood sea inheritance, but wanted to conceal it. HMPH, you mean this goo? Fang Yuan willed and took out the blood moon goo from his aperture, tossing it to Tai Ruo Nan. This is the blood moon goo from my clan, did you not see my brother use it before? Back when the explosion occurred, my clan leader and Bai clan leader worked together and protected me and Bai Ning Bing at the expense of their lives. The clan leader handed me his remaining goo, and during the journey with Bai Ning Bing, many goo died of hunger, 
but only this blood moon goo remained became it was easy to feed. Fang Yuan's words not only answered Tai Ruo Nan's inquiry, but even explained why he and Bai Ning Bing were able to escape from the icy hell. Tai Ruo Nan inspected the blood moon goo, her expression turning relaxed. So that's it. Your clan leader was courageous in order to protect the bloodline, he sacrificed himself, he is truly noble. Fang Yuan snorted. That is why I have to live better and rebuild Gu Yu village. Whoever dares to stop me, I will end his life. This explains why he was so cruel and ruthless in the battle stage. Although we did not spend much time together, I can evidently feel that you have changed. Tai Ruo Nan looked at Fang Yuan, she was only reminiscing and did not suspect him. After encountering such a trauma, most people would change, that was normal. Fang Yuan looked at her plainly. People change, didn't you change as well? Tai Ruo Nan shook her head. I have just been walking on my own road. After that, both of them went silent. Long after, Tai Ruo Nan spoke. I will bring Tai Dao Ku back. I promise you, Tai Clan will no longer pursue this matter. Relying on Shang Clan and rebuilding your clan is a good method. Many people succeeded, and I wish you success as well. After saying that, the young girl stood up and left decisively. Fang Yuan looked at her leave, his eyes squinting. He had an obscure premonition. This Tai Ruo Nan was not simple, she might bring him great problems in the future. I really want to kill her in advance. Fang Yuan was filled with helpless regret. Chapter 304 Bitter Strength Gu Tai Ruo Nan really left, and like she said, she took Tai Dao Ku with her. Fang Yuan understood very well what kind of person Tai Dao Ku was. Being able to fight intensely with Bai Ning Bing for such a long time, he clearly was an expert and could not be looked down upon. Now he had been recruited by Tai Ruo Nan. This Tai Ruo Nan must be eliminated, leaving her alive will be an enormous threat. Fang Yuan had an intense premonition in his heart because Tai Ruo Nan, him and Bai Ning Bing had a common point. They were people who found the road they want to walk on in life. Such people had great willpower and courage, as long as they didn't die prematurely, they were sure to have huge accomplishments. Tai Ruo Nan also had a great aptitude along with the support of Tai Clan. She was one of the eight young masters of Tai Clan, just this alone, Fang and Bai could not compare with her even with the purple thorn tokens. If our growth continues like this, she will gradually throw me and Bai Ning Bing far away. Only through the Three Kings' inheritance can I decrease the gap between us. Fang Yuan made a plan. With a normal development, Fang and Bai were not Tai Ruo Nan's match. The latter was one of the young masters of Tai Clan. The resources she received were so much that Fang and Bai could not even begin to compare. Only by walking on an uncommon route, by taking risks and shortcuts, could they decrease this gap. The Three Kings' inheritance and the great demonic righteous battle of Yitian Mountain were such shortcuts. Spring came and left, autumn left and returned. The river of time continued to flow ceaselessly and over a year passed. Nan Kiyu Garden Secret Room Fang Yuan was sitting cross-legged on a cushion, beads of sweat seeped out of his forehead as he gritted his teeth and endured. He was refining goo and it was the crucial moment. A red, orange, and green sphere floated in midair, the size of a basket. Its lights tinged Fang Yuan's face with a variety of colors. Doing four tasks at once, Stone Turtle Strength Goo Go. Following Fang Yuan's will, a darkish light flew out of his aperture and pierced into the three-colored light sphere. The addition of Stone Turtle Strength Goo immediately created an intense reaction in the three-colored light sphere. The light sphere, which had red, orange, and three colors, now had a dark light mixed into it. The four colors contended against each other, but no one could overwhelm the other, and the battle became chaotic. For a moment, the four colors moved fiercely, just like boiling water which was being stirred by a large hand. Boom. Suddenly, there was a small explosion. The light sphere burst apart and formed a four-colored rain. 
The light rain came fast and left just as quickly. In a blink of an eye, the secret room was submerged in darkness. Everything disappeared. Failed again, in the eerie darkness, Fang Yuan sighed softly. Blood slowly seeped out from his nose and due to the failure in refining Gu, his soul also received a backlash, causing him to have a burst of dizziness. This was already the fourth failure. A year and a half has gone, I have advanced to third inner city from the fourth. However, I haven't been able to buy bitter strength Gu. Fang Yuan knew the reason. One was because bitter strength goo was extremely rare and also very expensive. It rarely appeared even in Shang Clan City. Second was because Shang Yazai was the one who managed the shops and was obstructing Fang Yuan from the dark. Shang Yazai was one of the young masters of Shang Clan and was in control of the stores in Shang Clan City. Fang Yuan wanted to buy bitter strength Gu, and Shang Yazai possessed all kinds of ways to obstruct Fang Yuan. Two years ago, Fang Yuan arrived at Shang Clan City and had extorted Shang Yazai. And after this was done, Shang Yazai relied on Bai Gu inheritance to pass the clan's examination and maintain his young master position. Although he was hindered by Poison Val Gu not being able to make fatal moves against Fang Yuan, this way of taking revenge was still allowed. Shang Yazai was after all Shang Yan Fei's son, each loss he suffered made him wiser. After the setbacks he suffered, he roused his spirit, wiped away his decadence, became cautious in indulging in wine and women, and became more shrewd. He relied on the clan system to deal with Fang Yuan using more hidden means that even the Purple Thorn token Fang Yuan possessed was of no use. Purple Thorn token holders were considered Shang Clan's esteemed guests. But in the end, they were outsiders and could not compare to Shang Yazai who was Shang Clan's young master. Since he could not buy bitter strength Gu, Fang Yuan could only attempt to refine it himself. However, the success rate in refining bitter strength Gu was really very low. Counting in today's attempt, Fang Yuan had already tried the fusion four times and in the process lost brown bear strength goo, galloping horse strength goo, green bull labor goo and stone turtle strength goo. Apart from these, he had also lost precious supplementary materials and large amounts of primeval stones. Fortunately, Fang Yuan was able to keep on winning at the battle stage and earn resources, allowing him to bear the cost of Gu refinement failure. Phi, this time is also a failure, I can only wait for my injuries to recover before I try again. Fang Yuan sighed. Gu refinement required prudence. Failure to refine a Gu could inflict backlash on the Gu master's body and soul. Injuries on the body were easier to resolve, but because of multitasking, the soul suffered damage which was extremely troublesome to deal. The higher the rank and rarer the goo was, the more severe the consequences of failure. Thus, refinement goo masters would often be seriously injured or become bedridden because of goo refinement failures, and sometimes the backlash even led to deaths. It was not that goo which could heal the soul did not exist, but they were all extremely rare and were usually kept secretly by the large clans. The injuries to his soul this time would inflict light dizziness to Fang Yuan for over a month. This dizziness would affect Fang Yuan's battle strength and such a minor gap could be fatal in a battle between experts. Thus Fang Yuan usually attempted this after an interval of a month to let his soul have enough time to recuperate. Gu refinement failed, but today's cultivation was not over. Fang Yuan waited in meditation. A short while later, he heard a knock from outside. He opened the door and welcomed Bai Ningbing. Over this course of a year and a half, Bai Ningbing made rapid progress and also reached the third inner city, having assembled a set of Gu worms. She was on par with Fang Yuan and rarely suffered losses. They were called the two new stars of this generation in the battle stage and received attention from many people. The two did not speak and only nodded to each other. Bai Ning Bing sat cross-legged on the opposite cushion and placed her palms against Fang Yuan's back, pouring her snow-silver primeval essence. Bai Ning Bing was intentionally suppressing her cultivation and thus was still at rank 3 peak stage. 
In contrast, Fang Yuan's cultivation was advancing rapidly and was now only half a step away from rank 3 upper stage. Four hours later, Bai Ningbing stopped injecting the primeval essence and withdrew her palms. Fang Yuan slowly opened his eyes. His aura was even more abundant and there was a vague feeling of fullness. This was the sign of cultivation close to breaking through. My cultivation is getting close to rank 3 upper stage, I will break through within a few days. Fang Yuan calmly analyzed in his mind. After I break through to upper stage, I will use the white silver relic goo and directly push my cultivation to rank 3 peak stage. Like this, I can catch up to Bai Ningbing and also ease Spring Autumn Cicada's pressure on the aperture. Spring Autumn Cicada was Fang Yuan's vital goo and was also a rank 6 goo. Over this course of a year and a half, it had been continually absorbing the water of the River of Time and its aura was growing stronger as it recovered, creating a pressure on Fang Yuan's aperture again. But the situation this time was many times better than the one on King Mao Mountain. Fang Yuan's cultivation was advancing rapidly, and with a rank 3 aperture, it was not as pressing as back then on King Mao Mountain. All this should be attributed to Bone Flesh Unity Gu and Bai Ningbing. Cultivation ended. Bai Ningbing stood up and left the secret room immediately. During the whole process, she did not say a word and her expression was cold as ice. Fang Yuan was also not someone who spoke a lot. Over this year and a half, the two were already used to interacting like this. Fang Yuan inwardly pondered, When I reach rank 3 peak stage, Bai Ningbing's primeval essence won't be of much help to me. But from this long period of interaction with her, and from the minute changes in her aura, I can vaguely feel that she isn't far from rank 4 realm. Even if Bai Ningbing was trying her best to delay her cultivation, the curse of the Ten Extreme Physique had not disappeared and started showing its effect. According to what Bai Ningbing said, her aptitude had raised by 2% again and was now at 93%. Another 7% increase would reach 100% and she would regain her Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique. If she reaches rank 4, her Yellow Gold Primeval Essence would be of great help to me in breaking through to rank 4 realm. In some aspects, she and I are in similar circumstances. I have Spring Autumn Cicada and she has Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique. Seven days later, Fang Yuan received good news from Wai Yang. An auction, a rarely seen disaster appeared at Ju Fong Mountain and destroyed Ju Clan. The remnants of Ju Clan had submitted to Shang Clan City and are auctioning large amounts of their clan's collections to maintain their livelihood. Thus, there will be an auction held soon. After saying this, Wai Yang intentionally said to Fang Yuan, Brother Fang, your luck has come. I have investigated and found there is a bitter strength Gu being auctioned this time. Wai Yang was clear of Fang Yuan's demand for bitter strength Gu. Fang Yuan had even requested him to make inquiries before. The main thing is everyone in Shang Clan City are viewing this auction with importance, it will be difficult for young master Shang Yazai to play tricks. Wai Yang added. The conflict between Shang Yazai and Fang Yuan was no secret to Shang Clan's higher-ups. Bitter Strength Gu. Ju Clan. Fang Yuan's gaze brightened. Ju Clan had centuries of foundation, there was sure to be many useful things up for bidding now that they were selling their properties. Bitter Strength Gu, which Fang Yuan had not obtained despite searching all over for it, was one of them. I have accumulated close to a million primeval stones in the course of this year and a half. I have a huge chance of successfully buying the Bitter Strength Gu. Cases like Ju Clan's destruction aren't rare. In this world, besides human disaster, there are also natural disasters. Strong wind blows throughout the year in Ju Fong Mountain, although it is a spiritual mountain possessing spirit springs, the environment is really bad. There could be many treasures in Ju clan storage. I need to participate in the auction, Fang Yuan immediately decided. What, Ju clan has a bitter strength goo? In a study, Shang Yazai slowly furrowed his brows. He was holding a document on one hand, 
The document contained most of the details of the auction, and his other hand was on the table, his index finger knocking on the surface. To think Fang Zheng's luck is so good, I did everything to obstruct him, and it seems he is still going to obtain the bitter strength goo. Even father is paying attention to the auction this time, it won't be easy for me to interfere. But, Fang Zheng, I won't let you get the bitter strength goo so easily. I will also participate in the auction and make sure you suffer a huge loss. Shang Yazai could not help but let out a cold snort at the thought. He had always kept a grudge due to Fang Yuan's extortion. He was a narrow-minded and petty person, refusing to see Fang and Bai gain fame and status. He could only ease the hatred in his heart by seeing Fang and Bai's pain and suffering. Chapter 305, Auction 1 Strong winds blow continuously throughout the year on Zhu Fong Mountain. Since its creation, Zhu Clan Village had been facing the threat of hurricanes. Zhu Clan Village is situated at the top of Zhu Fong Mountain, having hundreds of years of history. Contesting the natural disaster as mere humans, the clan often faced the threat of extermination, but they pulled through every time. But this time, they faced a giant hurricane that is rarely seen in a hundred years. Zhu Clan Village could not longer defend themselves and was destroyed by the disaster. The terrifying hurricane destroyed the Spirit Spring and many people in Zhu Clan died. After losing their village, they could only leave and come to Shang Clan City, seeking refuge in hopes of rebuilding their home in the future. Commodity prices are high in Shang Clan City. To live, they had to sell their assets. To Ju Clan, this was a disaster, but to others, this was a rare opportunity. Although Ju Clan was a small-sized clan, they had their secrets for being able to live on Ju Fong Mountain and fighting the natural disaster for hundreds of years without falling. Ju Clan selling off their assets made this auction very attractive to people. Once news got out, it attracted most people's attention in Shang Clan City. Seven days later, the auction was held. At the auction, it was overcrowding with people, and there were zero empty seats in the large hall. The private rooms on higher floors were all sold out as well. Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing, using their purple thorn tokens, snatched a private room for themselves. Fang Yuan opened a slit in the curtain of the room, standing at one side feeling the rowdy atmosphere of the hall. At this time, the auction had not started yet and nearly a thousand people in the hall were talking among themselves, making a great commotion. Sigh, what a pity for Ju clan. After hundreds of years, they finally lost to the hurricane. Man really cannot contest the strength of the natural elements. Someone exclaimed, This is nothing much. New clans rise up and old clans get eliminated. Just like a few years ago, the three clans on King Mao Mountain were wiped out together. Ju Clan's demise was nothing extraordinary. Someone felt indifferent. Ju Clan's tragedy is our happiness. I hear there are lots of good stuff in this auction. Someone was gloating at the clan's disaster. So many Ju Clansmen entered Shang Clan City, this will cause great disturbance to Shang Clan City's economy. Someone predicted the future. At this moment, there was a huge commotion. Look, that is Shang Clan young master Qiu Niu. Fang Yuan followed the voice and looked, seeing Shang Qiu Niu walk in from the entrance, taking large strides in. He had a muscular build and his steps were stable. He was thirty years old now, as Shang Yan Fei's eldest son. Greetings to eldest young master Qiu Niu. My respects to eldest young master. It is our honor to be able to see eldest young master in person. At once, many people rushed up and paid respects to Kiyu Niu. Hello, everyone. Kiyu Niu did not speak much, smiling lightly as he calmly faced the situation. Finally, he walked into a private room under everyone's gaze. The auction house became quiet again, but soon after, a commotion rose again. Young Master Kao Fong and Fu Roman Eleven are here too. They had a great relationship since young as expected, they came here today together. The fourth son Shang Kao Fong still had a messy hair and a wild aura. The thirteenth son Shang Fu Roman Eleven was refined and delicate, 
looking like a scholar. The two talked as they entered the private room together. Their servants opened a path for them along the way, and they did not care about the surrounding people. Fang Yuan looked with a cold expression, squinting. In his memory, Shang Kao Feng almost managed to get the Shang clan leader position. He was Shang Xin Sai's greatest competitor. He was wicked and devious and had decisive courage. This was somewhat like Shang Yan Fei. Shang Fu Roman XI was his greatest supporter, willingly going under him and had wits, being good at planning. In the future, when the righteous demonic battle at Yitian Mountain occurred, he schemed and employed strategies that caused great damage to the demonic Gu masters, gaining fame instantly. The two, one was capable, and the other was good at scheming, complementing each other. The former controlled the Gu battle zone, while the latter controlled the auction zone. They were both important domains in Shang Clan City, being fully developed. Right now these two were the third largest faction among the ten contesting young masters. Before Shang Kao Feng and Shang Fu Roman XI entered their room, another group of people came. Shang Pu Lao, Shang Suan Nai, and Shang Bai Roman XI walked in full of smiles as they spoke. These three were the eighth, ninth, and tenth children of Shang Yan Fei. Because of benefits they formed into a small alliance. They were the second largest faction among the contesting young masters as they had a strong collective force and were temporarily suppressing Shang Kao Feng and Shang Fu Roman XI. Shang Pu Lao controlled the brothels in Shang Clan City, he was a Casanova and womanizer. Shang Suan Nai was in charge of restaurants and silk stores, having a large mouth and wide nose, two traces of yellow smoke came out of his nose when he breathed. Shang Bai Roman XI was short and fat, but was also a strength path goo master. His core goo was the turtle tire goo, having the strength of ten turtles. Shang Suan Nai and Shang Bai Roman XI were strong experts in cultivation, while Shang Pu Lao had literary talent and fate with women. With the three as the head, two fighters and one scholar, they had great coordination. The three young masters did not choose a room, but sat in the hall. Shang Pu Lao had great interpersonal communication skills, everywhere he went, people followed. He spoke casually among the people, blending in perfectly, causing the scene to be even more live. On his left and right, Shang Suan Nai and Shang Bai Roman XI stood like two guardians. Shang Yan Fei's children are all dragons and phoenixes among men, Fang Yuan sighed internally. He had a clear understanding of Shang Clan's ten young master situation now. Right now, there were three factions among the young masters. The first was Shang Qiu Niyu. He was Shang Yan Fei's eldest son with just this identity, he had many Shang clan elders and clansmen supporting him. The second was Shang Pu Lao, Shang Suan Nai, and Shang Bai Roman XI. The three gathered into a strong force and were currently the center of attention. The third was Shang Kao Feng and Shang Fu Roman XI, hiding their strength and awaiting a chance to rise up. As for the others, Shang Yazai was a loner, having little influence. Shang Kai Wen was bubbly and vibrant, but had no ambition. Shang Pai Ziu had great talent, but was too scheming. I want to help Shang Xin Sai ascend to the throne, we cannot compete with the three factions. Although Shang Xin Sai can cultivate, a forcefully awakened aperture only has C-grade aptitude, this is not a weak foundation, but zero foundation. Shang Xin Sai was Shang Yan Fei's illegitimate daughter, and her mother was from Zhang Clan. Zhang Clan and Wu Clan were very close, having much grudges with Shang Clan. This was Shang Xin Sai's political weakness. Every year during the Young Master Assessment, there is a great opportunity for Shang Yan Fei's other children to rise up. In my memory, Shang Xin Sai only became Shang Clan Young Master after six years. But this is too long if I want to make use of her, I have to get her up there as soon as possible. This year's assessment is a chance. Fang Yuan evaluated in his heart. To get Shang Xin Sai into power, he had to deal with Shang Yan Fei's other children. Since he could not deal with the three large factions, he will have to deal with the others. On this aspect, Fang Yuan had a plan ever since he entered Shang Clan City. 
Just as he thought about Shang Zinsai, she arrived. Numerous eyeballs were attracted to the entrance of the auction house. Shang Clan's two beauties. Really pretty. Young master Shang Kai Wen looks cute and innocent, but coming with Lady Shang Zinsai, she loses out in terms of appearance. The people discussed. Shang Zinsai and Shang Kai Wen held hands and spoke as they entered the auction house. Shang Kai Wen wore a colorful dress, her face was like peach, soft and tender. Shang Zinsai wore a green skirt, her black hair silky and her eyes shining like the moon. Her skin was white as snow and her lips were pink and tender. She looked elegant and graceful, gentle like water. When she smiled, it was pure and flawless, a perfect beauty. It caused people's gaze to become dazed. Beside the two of them, there were four servants. Two of them were Tian Lan and Xiao Dai, Shang Zinsai's personal servants. The servants blocked the excited young men in the hall as Shang Zinsai and Shang Kai when walked towards Fang Yuan's private room. Brother Hai Tu, Sister Bai Yun. Shang Zinsai greeted, unable to hide the joy and excitement in her voice. Shang Yan Fei used the man triumphing Heaven Gu to forcefully awaken her aperture. These two years he used a lot of precious goo worms to raise her aptitude. From the lowest 20% D-grade aptitude, it slowly rose to C-grade 59%, a step away from B-grade. Shang Yanfei paid such a huge price to nurture her and taught her personally, Shang Zinsai felt his fatherly love, and her hatred vanished into thin air, enjoying the love and bliss. Shang Yanfei chose many Gu masters to teach her. Shang Zinsai stayed home for most of the time, studying more about Gu Master cultivation of her own accord. She was smart and mature, having faced some difficulties, she desired strength but was not arrogant, had strict goals for herself and improved by leaps and bounds, causing Shang Yanfei to be extremely pleased. This auction was a rare chance to relax, she had accepted Fang Yuan's invitation and wanted to come alone but met Shang Kai when along the way. Fang Zheng, I came uninvited, are you going to chase me out? Shang Kai when laughed as she followed Shang Zin Sai into the room. How would I dare to, please take a seat? Fang Yuan invited her with a smile. Bai Ning Bing sat at one side, hearing this, she did not turn around, but remained expressionless. Shang Kai when gave this ice beauty a curious look, thinking, Outsiders say Bai Ning Bing is cold and arrogant, it seems they were right. Next, she looked at Fang Yun. Actually, this Fang Zheng is also extremely arrogant. After reaching third inner city and winning all his battles, never having a single loss, many forces started recruiting him. Shang Keo Feng, Shang Qiu Niu, Shang Pu Lao and others, they even held a banquet and invited him personally, but were rejected. These two being together, truly birds of a feather flock together. Shang Kai, when controlled Shang Clan City's battle stage, she was extremely clear of Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing's situation. Fang and Bai had never lost a battle since they joined the battle stage, they had overwhelming talent and were the most famous people in the battle zone. Their fame even rivaled the two great rank four Gu masters, Zhu Kai Bei and Yan Tu. Anyone could tell that their future was promising. If any of the Shang clan young masters get their assistance, it would be a huge boost to their force. But she, Shang Kai Wen, had no ambition, thus she did not send any invitations to them. Brother Hai Tu, it has been a while, are you doing fine? I heard you fought with a Gu master called Tang Ju Long. Shang Xin Sai sat beside Fang Yuan, her gaze fixed on him as she asked in concern. Fang Yuan laughed lightly. It has only been ten days since we met, why is it been a while? As for Tang Ju Long, he could not even stop my advancement before losing. In this battle stage, only Ju Kai Bei and Yan Tu are a threat, the rest are nothing to be worried about. Fang Yuan's calm words displayed his extraordinary pride and self-confidence as Shang Kai Wen listened with shining eyes and Shang Xin Sai's heart was moved once again. 